Okay, we're going to uh, dissect metridium. Metridium is a sea anemone, that's class anthozoa in the phylum Cnidaria. And uh, these guys are uh, diploblastic with radial symmetry. They have uh, true muscles, um, but an incomplete digestive cavity and um, uh, are, are temp tissue level kind of, of organization. So let's see, there we can kind of see it there. Um, I have uh, a little video of living metridium online. This is quite contracted. This guy might actually be like that long. This is the oral surface here. The oral surface, there's the mouth. Then there's a, a like a disc here. And then these are the tentacles where the majority of the nidocytes, those are the stinging cells with the organelle nematocyst and then the actual stinging thing. And so you see these tentacles here. This is fairly contracted. He would be much longer than that. The oral disc with the mouth, there's the basal or pedal disc whereby they're attached. They're muscular. They can creep around slowly, but they don't. Um, here we're going to make a cut through here. You could do this two ways. You can take your scissors and you can cut one side and kind of pry them open, or you can take a knife and just cut him in half. And I think that's what, what I'm going to do here. So I'm gonna try and go right through the mouth and through the disc. And so there's not much to him, so it goes pretty fast. So a quick cut there, and there I'm in. And so um, you can kind of see, here's the mouth right there. And then I'm into the pharynx. Let me just cut this away because I've kind of cut through one of the septa here. And so mouth and pharynx, septum. And then down here is the actual gastrovascular cavity down through these areas here. So you can see that down there. And then this stuff in here, that is gonad, okay? And so there's the gastrovascular cavity there. So a simple dissection. He has lots of folds. And so if you wanna do this, you can take one half and cut him across this way. And there you can see all these folds. So they, they don't really get, they don't have a very thick body wall, but they have all these folds that allow them to get more surface area in their digestive cavity. And so you can kind of see that um, right there. Okay, that's really all there is to it. So we wanna take a picture with that so that we can see it. And uh, then you're set to go. Uh, remember this has been in a preservative. Um, it's been washed out of it, so there's no formaldehyde or anything like that. But don't feed it to your dog, even though they might be interested in it, because it, it, it does have that kind of stuff in it. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Submit your photos online. Okay, so we're going to stop. And